Y'all feeling today? Cause if I'm a Ravens fan, I'm feeling really, really good. Like, I'm feeling really, really great right now. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Y'all are great people, and I hope you enjoying your day. But if you're not, hopefully this will cheer you up a lot. So we talked about yesterday how Ronnie Stanley. He talked about how he feels like he, he might play in this game, and we know Ronnie Stanley. He calls his own shot. So if Ronnie Stanley is saying he might play in this game, then we need to take his word with way more than just a grain of salt. We need to take it with the whole carton of it. So it's looking like Ronnie Stanley is going to be good to go. That's a beautiful thing because we know this offensive line needs it. But it didn't stop there because somebody else who chimed in on how they feel about playing in this game was Odell Beckham Jr. And Odell Beckham Jr. said he expects to play against Pittsburgh. And, and this is Odell Beckham Jr. who had been limited in practice. Uh, even though before the game last week against the Browns, he was running around on the field and he said he looked good. He said he looked smooth. He said he looked right. But he didn't play in that game. And I guess he really wasn't needed because the Ravens took care of business in a major way. But to have Odell Beckham Jr. back, a big, big money free agent acquisition at the wide receiver position, that's a beautiful thing. But it doesn't stop there. It doesn't, it doesn't stop there. Let's keep going. Hey, y'all stay with me. So Rashad Bateman. He's expected to play. Rashad Bateman been practicing in full this week, and that's been a pleasant surprise for me because I did not think Rashad Bateman was going to be back so soon and be back so early and be back as a full participant in practice. So that's been a beautiful thing. But then this one right here that came out today, today, was about Marlon Humphrey. And let's just read the report uh, straight from Jeremy Fowler. It says, Ravens Pro Bowl corner. I mean, you could say Pro Bowl, All Pro, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, Ravens Pro Bowl corner Marlon Humphrey is expected to make his season debut Sunday versus Pittsburgh per source. So that's a beautiful thing. Humphrey was listed as questionable after missing four games post foot surgery. Back in time for the AFC North rivalry. That is amazing news right there. Straight up. Because Marlon Humphrey being back. Like I know a lot of people, they did it with the Colts. They did it with the Browns. Well, not actually not with the Browns. They did it with the Colts, though. They were like, oh no. It, when it, there was a lot of guys that were hurt, a lot of Ravens players that were out with injury, and a lot of fans were saying, "No, no, no, don't don't bring them back against the Colts. We'll take care of business against them. Don't they, they don't need to be back yet? They they can rest this game." And guess what happened? The Baltimore Ravens rested that game, especially on offense. On defense, they took care of business. But the Baltimore Ravens race rested that game, and look how they looked. They they, they let out a, a terrible performance, even though as bad as they looked, it took overtime for them to lose. Overtime. For them, not even necessarily overtime for the Colts to win, but overtime for the Ravens to lose with how bad they looked. So, again, that's great news for the Baltimore Ravens' future because if they can look as rough as they did. Remember week one? Remember week two, too? They had some moments. And, and even in week three and week four, they had their rough moments. But for them to have not looked like a full team yet and not even be a full team yet and still be 3-1 and one at this point in the season, that's amazing for the Baltimore Ravens moving forward. But my point is, a lot of people, they, they, they feel like the Ravens can sort of sleep on the coast. They feel like that would be a cakewalk, and it wasn't. So with Pittsburgh Steelers, even though you know Mike Tomlin is going to have them ready to play, no matter who's out, no matter who's in, no matter what type of shape that team is in, Mike Tomlin is going to have them boys ready to show up because this is Ravens versus Steelers. And even though it don't got the same spice that it used to, it is still Ravens, Steelers, Harbaugh, Tomlin. It's, yeah. So let's get it, man. But Marlon Humphrey being back is great, and, and I love that he's back for this game. Now, I wouldn't expect Marlon Humphrey to be a full goal, like be out there every single defensive snap, but hey, if he is, then that means he's really good to go. So let's see how that works itself out. Now, with great news, we got to get some bad news too. Morgan Moses, who I was wrong about. I, I did know that he returned to practice, but I didn't know his status with him returning to practice. I thought that even though he was, it said he was limited, I was like, okay, this could be a good sign for him playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Ravens getting their full offensive line back for the first time since week one going against the Steelers, but it looks like that's not going to happen because Jeff Zrebic, he talked about how Morgan Moses was at practice on Thursday. He didn't practice on Friday, even though, again, that's more like a walkthrough, but he didn't practice on Friday, but on Thursday, Jeff Zrebic said he really didn't do too much of anything, so he wasn't really moving around like that. He just he did not look himself in and did not look like somebody who's getting ready to play against the Steelers this coming Sunday, and I know he has a, a long streak of games that he's played in a row because he has not missed a game in forever. But it's looking like that streak is probably going to be broken uh, this Sunday. It will, hey, if, if he plays, it'll be a nice, pleasant surprise. But we can, I think we can get by. Uh, Pat McCurry will probably be on that right side to hold it down. Um, but yeah, And they're going to need Pat McCurry to be the best Pat McCurry he can possibly be. Because, again, T.J. Watt, Highsmith, just still his defense. Yeah, 
they they can be a lot of trouble. So Ravens offensive line, they got to be with it. Pat Ricard, they're gonna need you to block some people. The, the running backs, if y'all gonna be in pass protection, yeah, this gonna be a week where you gotta hit the weight room a little extra. Well, you know what? Actually, don't hit the weight room extra. Cause I know a lot of Ravens fans been saying that's been a Ravens problem. That's why they've been getting so hurt. But anyway, now um, Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson uh, with his comments on Zay Flowers and a little compliment slash sneak diss on Zay Flowers because he said about Zay, he's very shifty, very, very fast. He can get behind the defense. He's kind of like the guy that can do it all for him, run the screens, run the reverses, and still also run the big posts as well. So letting it be known, like, hey, Zay Flowers can do it all. That boy can play. We've been watching. We've been watching film and everything, seeing what he can do. He can do everything, and Patrick, Patrick Peterson listed everything that he can do. But then he followed that up. He said, so – it's going to be fun trying to keep our eye on that fast little munchkin there. So this was one of those things. It, it reminded me sort of of the, the Roquan Smith, uh, the, the sort of trash talk from last week against the Browns, to where if you look at that one quote, it can look really bad. Like, that's what I, I saw at first on Twitter, and I thought it was fake. But I, all I saw on Twitter was, so it's going to be fun trying to keep our eye on that fast little munchkin there. I said, oh, man, like, you really going into man's size like that? Wait, what, 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 what you doing that for? But – it is important to read the whole quote. And again, while it, it is a, it's sort of a little sneak disc, because again, he complimented him, built him up, and then he gave him that little punch, that little blow at the end to sort of try to tear him down a bit. But just like Roquan Smith last week with the whole, we're going to beat you in front of your, your, your wife and your children, when you look at that part by itself, especially without listening to it, it's like, whoa, whoa, Roquan, whoa, hold up now, buddy. Whoa, slow down. But then when you look at the entire part of that interview, the entire part of that presser, it's like, oh, okay, I get it. He's still talking trash, but it's like with Roquan, it's very polite, uh, respectful, borderline disrespectful trash talking. And with Patrick Peterson, again, he, he bigged up Zay Flowers, gave him the compliments and whatnot, then threw that little jab in there. So it, it ain't nothing too crazy. It's, it's all part of the game, right? It's all in fun, right? So this should give, uh, regardless if it's fun or not, regardless if he was serious or not, <laughs> hey, it's out there. And hopefully Zay Flowers, that, he'll, he'll add just a little bit extra, a little bit extra uh, to his game tomorrow against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Remember with Patrick Peterson, he, he talked trash about Brock Purdy. And Brock Purdy, he talked back. And he basically called Patrick Peterson old. He was like, oh, yeah, I used to grow up and I, I used to watch you growing up and stuff. And then he threw a touchdown on Patrick Peterson. So, hey, that'd be nice if we get the same result, but even better. Um, so, again, remember tomorrow, this game is huge because the Ravens could go 3-0 and in away division games. They ain't played no division games at the crib yet. So for them to have that possibility, that would be big. So Baltimore Ravens, bring it, be on point, do your best, do what you got to do, finish. I know they ain't going to be sleeping on the Steelers because they have no choice but not to sleep on the Steelers. They got to be wide awake for this one, and we know they will be.